Hi, this is Frank Carmody. We're going to take a look at uh, making holes in Autodesk Inventor 2013. So let's go ahead and get a part file open. Okay, so we opened up our part file by the, doing the drop down new part. Now we're going to create new sketch. Okay, now I need a solid to start out with, so let's go ahead and make to make a rectangle. Click, move the mouse, click. Now we're going to dimension this to be four by four inches. Um, when you get into use, um, when you get into doing some of these parts, it's good to start to know how big your um, your original piece is. Uh, even if you're practicing, just go ahead and dimension. Uh, it's a good habit to get into. Right click, finish 2D sketch. We're going to zoom out just a little bit, and then we're just going to extrude this box. We're going to make it a cube, so we're going to make it four inches, so four by four by four. Okay, I just changed my uh, extrude height to four inches. Okay. Um, so we're going to take a look at making a hole here. Um, and so we went ahead just now and we made our initial um, a box. So that is how I would make a box, right? Like if I click the green check right now, I would make a box. We are not going to click the green check this time. So let's say I wanted a hole in this box. So we're going to make holes three different ways here. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to click the red X. I'm going to go back in and edit my sketch. Um, so let's get back to the front here. Whoops, I put it on the other plane. Um, so we're going to double click the sketch. Let's say I wanted a hole in this box. Probably the easiest way to make a hole is just to put it in the original sketch. So notice I get my, I want to put it kind of in the middle here. So I'm going to get my dotted lines. Let's say I want to make it a two inch hole. Of course, my dimensions, I need to dimension this out. Um, Mention this out here. Okay, so everything's kind of two inches with the circle here. It's two inches in diameter. It's two inches from the sides. Um, okay, so let's take a look. So I make a, the easiest way to put a hole in a solid is just to draw the hole in first in your uh, in your sketch. So I'm going to right click, finish 2D sketch. Now when I extrude, I can just extrude everything but the hole. So if I click on that solid, I make it four inches, notice that now I've extruded everything leaving a hole in the center. Okay, so that's one way to make a hole. Uh, probably the easiest way. The next easiest way to make a hole is let's say that I'm going to just put a hole in this next side here. Um, well, you be the judge. Uh, the next way that we can make a hole is that we can uh, extrude a hole uh, by creating a new sketch. So if I make a new sketch on the side of this um, this block here, so I clicked on new sketch, I click the side that I want the sketch on, I go ahead, I make it my circle, okay, uh, I go ahead and dimension the circle, let's say this time I want it to be a one inch circle, notice my dimensions on top of my block which wasn't good, um, and of course I'm going to pull this out, I'm going to pull this one out as well, Okay, so I got my everything's dimension. I right click, finish 2D sketch. Now what I can do is I can of course extrude cut like we've talked about before. Uh, and I can extrude, extrude cut here. Um, and I can go all the way through it. Uh, it automatically sets it to four inches. So that's fine for my, uh, for my purposes here. So I click okay. And there I've got my second kind of hole. So those are my extrusion holes, which is great. Okay, that's fine. Uh, now let's take a look at using the actual hole tool. Um, uh, now there are a couple ways to do the hole tool. Um, I can uh, I can create a point in a 2D sketch. So I can click on 2D sketch and I can put a, a sketch on the side of this uh, block. I can make a point and I can dimension that point. Let's say I want this. Um, let's say I just want it half an inch from the uh, from the side here. Uh, okay, so let's say you just want it half an inch from the side there. Okay, now I can right click, click OK, or right click, finish sketch. Now I can go, go ahead and make this hole here. And notice it automatically um, um, selects my center. Okay, now in the whole dialog, you see from sketch. Okay, so it, it takes it, for, it automatically selected from sketch. Now, if I had many points in my sketch, if I wanted to make, say, 
20 holes or 16 holes and I had a 4x4 four four grid of, of points, that would be an easy way to get to get holes done really quickly. Okay. Um, okay. So, so there's one way to do it, all right? Now, the, of course, the whole tool has a lot of advantages over extruding because, look, you, it, it's made to make screw holes, basically. So you can, you can select a lot of different options that will, uh, that will um, change the way your hole looks. So, for example, I can have a countersink in which I can, I can um, change the depth and width of my countersink and the depth of my hole. I can change the, the distance of my hole. So say I only want it to go through... Uh, two inches of my cube. Okay, I can go ahead and make it two inches there. Okay, and notice it only goes this way through. Let's go to take a look. It gives me a preview of what my hole is going to look like here. So notice as I change uh, the shape of my hole, notice that my preview changes. I can also change the drill point. Okay, so the drill point can be a um, have an angle on it or it can be flat, of course. You can also change uh, whether it is um, you can change whether it's threaded or not. Um, and there are different types of threads. Okay, so this, the whole tool has a lot of advantages over just extruding a hole. All right. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click the green check here. Okay, so that's one way to do it. I can do it through a sketch and notice I get my hole there. Um, so another way to add a, and notice when I, um, notice I can't really see the hole if I'm looking at it straight on, so I keep it a little bit up here. Um, another good way to make things a little bit more visible is to actually change the material you're working with. Uh, just just for the time being and some of these work better than others you know um, in showing off uh, the features of your sketch obviously stainless steel isn't going to be that different oak okay so anyway um, so we can make a make a hole that way so let's take a look at the another way to make a hole so we can just click on the hole tool without any sketch which is interesting and that actually chooses this linear placement. So basically, I have three selections to make on this linear placement. I choose the face I want to work with. Okay. Then I choose my reference point right now. Notice it just puts it wherever I clicked it. Now I choose a reference point, and that's one side here. And my second point is my, and now I can do an offset, right? So I can say it's, it's 0.5 away from that side. Okay. Then I can do my second reference, right? So I can click there, and I can say that it's 0.5 away from that side. All right. Okay. So there's my second hole. Now notice I can go back in. Now notice my first hole that has a consumed sketch inside it on my explorer bar. My second hole does not have a consumed sketch. So if I double click that, I can go back in and do the reference. Um, notice that also uh, in this dialog now I can choose the depth, uh, the depth here and the width of the hole also. So notice my dialog changes. I can also change the distance, of course. Um, okay, the distance will allow me to, to select a distance over here. You can just change through all. Notice it changes to all over here. And the distance disappears in this section of the, of the drawing or of the dialog. Okay, so let's say that that was a two-inch hole as well. And I go ahead and click OK. All right, so there are there are some way, different ways to make a hole. Okay, now a lot of times, let's say I need a lot of holes. Okay, now of course in um in uh, in Inventor, you remember that we use the pattern tool uh, to create to to create things in Inventor, right? We use the pattern tool uh, in our sketches. Now you can also use a pattern tool in a 3D sketch or in a 3D uh, version. Um, so we can click this, this sketch tool and we just choose a feature, right, like this hole, okay. Now we choose direction one, okay, and we can choose direction two like this. And notice that um, now we can adjust that and we can actually create a pattern of holes, okay, which is kind of interesting. Um, notice we can change how far apart they are uh, so we can kind of spread them out equally. Uh, and I can go ahead and click OK there. Notice my one of my holes is going to run into the other one, which is OK. So we click OK. All right, so there we have it. We have a um, a, a pattern of holes then inside of our uh, our object, which is fantastic. And then of course we can uh, adjust by adjusting this one hole. We can adjust all of our holes, which is great. Okay, notice that by doing that, it affected all of the holes in that pattern. 
Um, okay, so there are five ways to make a hole, and uh, and also the pa an example of the pattern tool. So go ahead, uh, use those two use those tools. So you're making uh, two holes using extrude, two different ways. You're making two holes using the hole tool, um, and then you're making uh, using that pattern to affect the the create more holes. Um, okay, uh, good luck.